Programming. Much like building a house of cards or playing Jenga, it's a diligent effort of give and take, where adding one feature can cause a ripple effect, causing it all to come crashing down. Or just crashing in general. This is it. My masterpiece. Let's see how it runs. God damn it. And the same applies to the game Bots Are Stupid, created by, and apologies for my mispronunciation, Leander Edler Gala. Bots Are Stupid tasks the player with programming a robot to navigate two-dimensional platforming challenges. Now, when I use the term programming, I'm by all means using that term extremely lightly. You don't need any prior knowledge or understanding of computer program to play this game. The programming language used to control the bot is extremely easy to read and write yourself. Now for the gameplay. Players can play through over 40 pre-made levels, ranging from easy all the way to extremely challenging. Commands such as move left, right, and jump form the basis for moving your robot around, while the wait command allows one to place a buffer time between movement commands. Now if these were all the movements you could perform, the game would be fucking boring as shit, I'm not gonna lie. But luckily there's a grapple hook mechanic which really spices the gameplay up. You can program the robot to launch its hook to the right and left, as well as upwards and downwards, and you really have to make sure you time it right. You can think of this game kind of like Super Meat Boy, except instead of controlling your character directly, you have to program and time each movement before launching your character to its most probable death. Now, as for the level design, it's incredibly unique, unlike a lot of 2D platformers. There's multiple pathways to navigate to the objective, and there's a ton of platforms you can use to your advantage in different ways. I mean, there are a lot of platforms that I didn't even use to get to my objective, and I, I think that really encourages a lot of different styles of playing this game, different pathways you can take to complete the same objective, and that's just awesome. And speaking of the objective, the goal of each level is to navigate your little robot to the red cube gate thingy, and once you reach that, ta-da, you beat the level. But once the levels get more advanced, there are red orbs littered throughout the level that you have to gather before the gate can open. This forces you to program your bot to navigate those parts of the level, which can add even more challenge to the game. There's also an increasing amount of navigational challenges as well as level hazards that can completely wreck your bot. For me, a lot of the challenge came from trying to create a path to get the orbs and to the objective. I tried to do it in the most optimal way, but it didn't always turn out that way. A lot of my scripts barely got my bot through the level while it desperately clung on to life. A difference of a tenth of a second in its script would cause it to crash and burn horribly. This in turn led to a lot of trial and error, trying to fiddle with the wait times and the jump times to nail a jump or a grapple. And once I finally did complete a level, I was greeted with a level complete screen, along with the crippling realization of how slow my solution really was compared to the average. This in turn encouraged me to try to optimize my script to be faster and faster, which was really fun for me, trying out different movements, pathways, and wait times. Now, on the topic of optimizing speed, Three, two, one, go! There are these speed power-ups that can be littered throughout any given level, which completely boost your momentum to supersonic Mach 5 speeds. It's crazy. Which kind of brings me to my only complaint I had about this game. Sometimes the momentum from these power-ups can just halt on an instant with no real rhyme or reason to it. It was pretty jarring for me, but it rarely happened, so I'll let it slide. And if you think the 40 pre-made levels are not enough, just you wait until you find the level creator. It's incredibly robust and feature complete. You can pretty much make any level that was made in the main game in the level creator. And this pretty much gives it infinite replay value, which is awesome. And this game is really new, so the fact that there's so many levels to play already is a really great sign. And for the graphics, it's pretty clear that this game isn't trying to be incredibly mind-blowing with its graphics. It's quite simple and retro and industrial, which I think fits this game perfectly, to be honest. I think the purpose of graphics in games are to set a tone, and this game does that perfectly. So, in conclusion, this game flips 2D platforming on its head by letting us program a bot to complete a level for us provides a trial and error style of gameplay that, as a programmer, I heavily relate to. 
and for the price I would definitely recommend picking up this game. It is definitely worth the cost, especially if you enjoy a more chill, puzzle-like kind of gameplay. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. This is my first video and, I mean, I'm new to this, so I have completely no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of having fun, so, you know, subscribe. I'll try to post consistently in the future and we'll see where this goes. Till next time.